Introduction Hello student, welcome to the lecture on movements in India and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objective. Explain cars base movement, discuss Dalit movements, describe the backward cars, explain about women's movement in independent India, discuss tribal movement and explain environmental movement. Mass movement. Let us start with mass movement. Mass movement are collective action for protection and recognition of constitutional and democratic rights which are not defined by law but form an important part of the day-to-day -day living of the subaltern masses. Caste based movements. Castes are ranked, named, endogamous in marrying groups, membership which is achieved by birth. The word caste derives from the Portuguese caste meaning breed race or kind. The Dalit movement. Literally, Dalit means oppressed, ground or crust. The term is used to denote social groups who were not considered to be a part of the Varna system in the Hindu society. These people were made to live outside villages and cities and their touch or even shadows were considered polluting. The main objective of the Dalit movement was to establish a society in India based on social equality. Mahatma Pule was the first Dalit leader who started the Dalit movement. He criticized the Brahmin class and elite classes for exploiting and oppressing the Dalit and other weakened sections of the society. He strongly condemned the caste system. He gave more stress on education as a factor in improving the conditions of individuals. He was the first reformer to open schools for the Dalit girls and boys. He also convinced the government to open schools for the Dalit. He established his organization Satya Sodak Samaj in 1873. Dr. Ambedkar respected him as his guru. Ambedkar's view on Dalit upliftment and main contribution. Dr. Ambedkar believed that the day the oppressed Classes decided to overthrow their slavery, for them the slavery would end. He had given a revolutionary character to the Dalit movement to obtain from them the same social rights that were enjoyed by the other section of the society. He was able to bring before the people the social problems of Dalit. He prepared the Dalit to launch agitation for securing their social, religious and political rights. He believed that untouchability was perpetuating because the Dalit were helping it to continue by tolerating it. He strongly condemned the Dharma Shastras and traditions which perpetuated untouchability. Main activities of Dr. Ambedkar for Dalit movement were Mahat Satyagraha, burning of Manu Smriti, issue of temple entry, issue of political rights. Backward cause. The backward caste is a legal and constitutional name collectively given to the groups which have traditionally occupied the lower status in Indian society. There were certain prejudiced laws created by the upper caste for their superiority. Some of them are in terms of religion as the priestly class Brahmins were supposed to conduct religious rituals and services. This included preparation for festivals and holidays as well as marriages and funerals. The upper caste had full rights to worship but backward castes were not allowed to offer sacrifices to the gods. Backward castes were banned entirely from temples and sometimes were not even allowed to set foot on temple grounds. If the shadow of a backward class touched a Brahmin, he or she would be polluted. People who violated social norms could be punished by being made untouchables. Women's movement in independent India. The roots of the Indian women movement go back to the 19th century. Male social reformers who took up issues concerning women and started women's organization. Women's participation in the freedom struggle broadened the base of the women's movement. Socio-religious reform movement and pre-independent India women. Let's talk about some eminent women of the pre-independence era who became symbols of emancipation. Rasundari Devi, a housewife in Bengal, wrote her autobiography in Bengali in 1876 called Amar Jibon, My Life. Her book is a passionate description of the deliberable conditions of women 
at the time as well as a secret prayer to women to stand up from their seat of subservience to be critical of their own lives including the prevalent social custom and practices. Swana Kumari Devi, less heard of than her brother Rabindranath Tagore, started a ladies' theosophical society, a multi religion association of women way back in 1882 and later became a member of the Indian National Congress. In 1916, the Begum of Bhopal founded the All India Muslim Women's Conference with education of women as a prime agenda, apart from provision of other remedial services for women and changing oppressive practices such as polygamy. The Women's Movement 1970s to the present in post-independent India, the women's movement was divided. Some of the women leaders now formally joined the Indian National Congress and held position of powers as ministers, governors and ambassadors. Women dissatisfied with the status quo joined struggles for the ruler poor and industrial working class such as the Tabaga movement in Bengal, the Telangana movement in Andhra Pradesh or the Naxalite movement. There was an anti-alcohol agitation as men used to get drunk and beat their wives. Women went round villages breaking pots in Linkwa Den. There are many women organizations that aim at the upliftment of women. Self-Employment Women's Association In Ahmedabad, what was probably the first attempt at a women's trade union was made with the formation of the Self-Employed Women's Association SEWA at the initiative of Ilabhat in 1972. Its aim was to improve the condition of poor women who worked in the unorganized sector by providing training, technical aids and collective bargaining. Progressive Organization of Women The POW in Hyderabad organized new and fresh protests against dowry. In the late 1970s, Delhi became the focus of the movement against dowry and the violence inflicted on women in the marital home. Groups which took up the campaign included Stri Samharsh and Mahila Dakshita Samiti. Women movements have helped in bringing the end of conventions like Sati, dowry system and also establish better and equal rights for women. Tribal movements, reason for tribal movements, tribal displacement due to refugee rehabilitation. In West Bengal and North East, it began with the partition when East Pakistani Hindu refugees either occupied or were rehabilitated on much land that the tribal communities own according to their customary law. Displacement in Tripura due to refugee rehabilitation. Tripura in the northeast is the worst hit. The land that was alienated from them was used to resettle the Hindu East Pakistani immigrants whose influx continues till today. Because of the influx, its tribal proportion has come down. Loss of land. Though most states have legal provision to protect tribal land, the loss of individual land too has been high because in the fifth schedule as well as in non-scheduled tribe areas, those who control the political and administrative system manipulate the land records in their own favor. Development Induced Displacement The Legal Way is a Land Acquisition Act 1894 that supersedes all other legislation and makes it possible for the state to acquire land under a public purpose that is yet to be defined. Attack on tribal culture, the focus till now has been land loss and impoverishment. Tribal land and forests are not merely economic commodities but is also the center of their culture and identity. Tribal reaction, many tribes have reacted to their exploitation, some of them peacefully and others violently. Demand for sovereignty, some tribes of Middle India who demand sovereignty interpret it as control over their economy and administration because their struggles are by and large for the protection of their land and forests. Environmental movements In recent years, so many grassroots environmental movements launched against the development activities that have threatened the ecological balance. Chipko Movement 1973 It was started by noted environmentalist Sundarlal Bahugana in 1970 to safeguard the rich forests of Western Himalaya range. This movement was basically a people movement to resist the cutting of trees. The Silent Valley Project 1978 The Silent Valley hydroelectric project was to dam the Kunti Puja River. It was a battlefield of personal agendas between the then Prime Minister Moralji Desai, the Kerala government and the environmentalists. Jungle Bachao Andolan 
It began in Bihar and later spread to states like Jharkhand and Orissa. The tribals of Singhbhum district of Bihar bubbled up a protest when the government decided to replace the natural salt forest with highly prized teak. Narmada Bachao Andolan 1985 in the state Madhya Pradesh in Gujarat it was started to protest the construction of dam around 13 numbers on the river Narmada to produce hydroelectricity and irrigation facility to the drought prone area of Kutch Gujarat social activist Baba Amte and environmentalist Meda Patkar are the two leaders to fight against the government and judiciary for the benefits of tribal of that affected regions up Pico movement. It was started in 1983 by the people of village Balagade district Uttar Kannada of Karnataka state. This district is a part rich forest of western Ghats. The people of this village protested the cutting of teak trees by Chipko way of embracing the trees and spread the movement throughout the region by Padayatras, meetings, folk dance etc. Summary. Now in the end let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. Mass movements are collective actions for protection and recognition of constitutional and democratic rights. The main objective of the Dalit movement was to establish a society in India based on social equality. Mahatma Pule was the first Dalit leader who started the Dalit movement. The backward caste is the legal and constitutional name collectively given to the groups which have traditionally occupied the lower status in the Indian society. Some eminent women of the pre-independence era who became symbols of emancipation were Rasundari Devi, Swandakumari Devi and Begum of Bhopal. Some environmental movement launched against developmental activities are Chipko Movement 1973, Silent Valley Project 1978, Jungle Bachao Andolan, Narmada Bachao Andolan 1985 and Apiko Movement.